The mutiny that achieved nothing, at least according to Madagascar's president. Ange Razawel says he is undeterred by the violence on Sunday when renegade soldiers took over a military camp near the airport in the capital city, Antananarivo. For several hours in the afternoon, they exchanged gunfire with loyalist troops, who eventually recaptured the barracks. The leader of the rebellion was killed in the final assault, along with two government soldiers. The military is now investigating the motive for the mutiny. There have already been three coup attempts in this country, but what happened yesterday is really unfortunate because this time around, lives were lost. The island nation in the Indian Ocean has been gripped by political uncertainty since the current president came to power. In March 2009, he led a coup with the support of the army and ousted then-leader Mark Ravalo Manan. African nations condemned the action and isolated Madagascar. The following August, a court sentenced the exiled leader to life in prison over the death of protesters in 2009. He was living in South Africa and could not stand trial. Then, last September, the president signed a political roadmap allowing his predecessor to return and for elections to be held within the year. Razuel is now in the Seychelles for planned talks with his rival. It's with plenty of optimism and goodwill to find a resolution to this crisis in the country that I'm going for this meeting in the Seychelles. Even if there were attempts to destabilize the country, it will not prevent me from going to this meeting. But three years of instability have already taken a toll, especially on the tourism industry. The hope now is that the two sides will be able to reach political reconciliation to stop Madagascar from slipping into further turmoil. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.